Hey, what's going on everybody? It's KB here and today I'm going to be showcasing the new feature of Windows 10 which is dark theme mode and for now this feature is only available to preview builds if you have a developer preview builds installed in your pc you can get it right now but for the stable windows 10 it is a upcoming feature so let me quickly demonstrate you that how it works and what is new about this actually this feature is already available in the current version of windows 10 which is windows 10 1803 if you right click go into the personalization and if you go into the colors tab and scroll down and you can see there is a choose your default app mode which is light and dark and if we choose the dark mode it only affects the settings of the windows 10 which is metro settings if we go into the file explorer it doesn't affect but in new upcoming windows 10 it affects the entire native windows applications modern applications plus file explorer and other stuff so let me show you so i have installed it in my other laptop the preview build you can see here i'm running the preview build 17.713 redstone 5 release okay so this is a upcoming feature you can still get it this build but this build is not recommended for you know daily use because this is a preview which means this build is still in development so it's not good for daily use because there are lots of bugs and you know lots of issues with the program so it's not recommended but if you want to try you can always try uh, the preview build by going into the settings and you know all that kind of stuff but we will talk about that later but now let's showcase the real dark mode theme for the windows 10 which is upcoming feature for the current stable uh, windows 10 okay current stable windows 10 has that feature but it doesn't affect any other applications okay but in new build it does so let me show you from here i'm gonna go into the personalization again one more time and i'm gonna go into the colors and i'm gonna have a light theme for now so i can show you from the start and if i open the file explorer for example right here as you can see this is the default windows 10's theme for everything it is light okay but if you go into the personalization one more time and go to the colors and choose your default app mode dark okay close the setting after that and now you will see the magic it affects the almost every single native windows applications software whatever you call it so i'm gonna open the file explorer you can see the dark real dark theme mode is here so everything is dark it's not polished fully polished yet that's why it is in build like it's in beta version that means there are some bugs some feature doesn't even work something like that but this thing is coming in next big update so get ready for that so this is like you know without installing the third party themes you can now officially get the dark theme or dark mode for windows 10. we don't have to wait for it long i think it's gonna be released i don't know the month but maybe two or three months later this is the next windows 10 feature there are many i recently installed the preview build so i'm planning to make a video on like top features you know top upcoming features for the windows 10 there are many things to explore in win new next windows 10 so i'm really excited for that but in my opinion this is the biggest feature you know the biggest good feature for most of the users because you will have a dark theme and all that kind of stuff there are many features i need to explain but in this video i'm just gonna explain this one so you saw that the file explorer is affected by the dark theme okay. <laughs> and after that almost every single you know the native application is now affected by the dark theme it's not like just one okay as you can see even the microsoft store is dark same for the you know email you'll see it is dark so on there are other applications you can try even calendar as you can see here 
got it i haven't set it up but you can see everything is now dark almost every single native application of the windows 10 will be dark in next update i mean it's not gonna be default dark but if you choose to have a dark theme then it's gonna affect every single native windows 10 applications unless if they have a, a built-in dark and light mode theme for example let's say microsoft edge browser is also a native application of the windows 10 so you can see this isn't affected because it has a built-in dark theme mode so since this has a you know uh, own theme thing so we just have to enable that by going into the settings and after that customize you can see choose theme so we can choose the dark theme and there we go now we have a dark theme for our microsoft browser so this is how it works here's the another example we have opened the skype which has a you know theme mode like which kind of theme you want light or dark so if you enable the dark theme from the setting it will not work because it has its own theme mode so now we can manually choose the dark theme and we will have a dark theme in our skype so some of the application has their own built-in theming system so on those application the dark theme mode will not work i mean it will work but we have to manually turn it on or off however we want but uh, i am really happy to see that it affects the file explorer it is not polished yet fully polished uh, like the top of the file explorer is still like white i don't know what they are gonna do with the white you know the border of the file explorer maybe i don't know maybe they will make it black or something shiny shiny black or something i don't know i have no idea but it doesn't look that good you know in file explorer but this will get polished and we will get the new next big update for the windows 10 and we will have this amazing feature called dark theme mode which is already available but it doesn't affect anything for now so yeah, we just have to wait for the next update or you can you know if you're a good pc user like you know what you're doing then you can always get the preview built just like i got so you can test the new features of windows 10 upcoming features of the windows 10 and i think that's all for this one hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you're using older operating system like windows 7 or 8 you want to try the windows 10 i will put link in the description for the windows 10 iso file it is completely free and officially available for everyone the iso file i will put link in the description you can go there and get the windows 10 and yeah unless you have a windows 10 you know if you don't have a windows 10 you can go there and get the windows 10 because this is the next big you know biggest uh, operating system right now so yeah that's it i'm planning to do a you know upcoming top features of the windows 10 so yeah let's see how that goes but for now that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.